So can I really blame Anthony Edwards? I can't because it's programmed to like these bodies. These bodies are sex dolls. These bodies are fetishes, fantasies. You see them online and they look like this. This is perception. This is how she should look when you meet her. That's not the case. That's not the case. You're not meeting this person. If this is a 10 on screen, you're meeting a 0.5 in person. I'm telling you. Mindset trash. Laying there not doing anything anyway. What else? Not going to help you as a man. Not going to teach you about finances. Nothing. This is a net negative to society as a whole. A BBL is a net. There's nothing you can do from a productive standpoint by having a BBL. Nothing. No, 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 no. Anthony Edwards decided to lay out with this. Can someone explain to me what exactly is a BBL? Like when you go, when your mind tells you you need a BBL, what is exactly going on in your mind? Ladies, help me out. Is it that the cheeks are just pancake-esque? Are too many men calling you a fridge? Like, let me know what's up. How did you land here to where now you decided to go under the knife to essentially enhance your cheeks in real time? I don't get and I don't understand why everybody is trying to enhance. Like you look how you look, just that don't even really matter. One, what type of person are you? But actually, what are you doing for the betterment of society? Like, are you actually making, this is very kumbaya, but the world a better place? No, why do you need to go and then get Botox? Why do you need to go and then and fill your ass with cement? or these injections, or if you got Beverly Hills type money, you can go up into the hills, get you a nice little $100,000 Kim K style BBL, get it removed when you want to, put it back in when you need to, because those doctors have been practicing for 20 years, 30 years. The doctors you're going to just got certified last week. Y'all are playing games in real time with these BBLs, but I just really don't know what a BBL is, if you know what it is, drop a comment, but let's just see what's good. And I ran and got my BBL. Mm. The first couple of months after, that shit looks so good. Mm. I looked sense. You couldn't tell me shit, mm. right? Now, just by that little clip of what I saw of her body, I'm going to say she's a somewhat heavy set woman, which is cool. There's men out there that like their heftier, healthier, more voluptuous woman, maybe touching 250, maybe 280 on a good day. I don't know. Some men like that. So I'm going to say maybe she was a little bit overweight. Maybe. I don't know. And uh, at the end of the day, she decided, hey, let me go get this BBL real quick. Let me tighten up. Let me get snatched. What they don't tell you about BBLs is that the fat can die. What? What? what do you mean? What do you mean the, the fat dies? So those are all fat cells. Yeah. Those fat cells from being disturbed, from being moved. Wait, I, <laughs> I don't feel like this is being explained right. Die? Like something in your body is dead? So where does it go? I'm confused now. Like, die? What? You could just... Huh? From being right. spun and all the Taking things that they use with it. Original, original environment. environment. They can die. What? Your body can reject it. Yeah. Right. So yeah, it's not yeah, giving yeah. it the nutrients or whatever the fuck it needs. Yeah. Three, four, five months after this shit. Ah, okay. I think I understand what she means. When you go and get this BBL, you were already a very sickly person before you got it. You drink every weekend. You smoking black and miles. You smoking cigs. Whatever you're doing, you smoking cigars. You doing drugs. You doing you doing all types of meth, cocaine, Molly. You doing ketamine. Everything in the book. Y'all do everything. It's cool. We get you. So what that means is you're not a healthy individual anyway. So when you go and get this BBL, this BBL came from, maybe it came from you. I don't know what they're doing these days, but essentially those areas of your body are healthy areas. You done moved it into a completely fat flop spot on your body just to look good, but you don't work out. You don't drink water. You don't exercise. You don't get sunlight. So it's like, damn, at the end of the day, these BBLs just tapping out like the fat, like, yo, 
<laughs> the fat is in your body like I quit. I don't want to be in this area of your body. Like I tap out. These BBLs are like, I die now. <laughs> That's wild. Did my fat not die? And what does my, that mean? So it basically means you end up like peeing it out. What? What? But it's Come not on, like man. fat cells like that. Story. Like you don't pee. Okay, so no, for example, see, I know yeah, what you mean. Course. It's not yeah, what you're yeah, losing yeah, weight. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. You, yeah, yeah, you yeah. have no idea what the f- you have no idea what she that means. You pee. F- Nobody's peeing out. F- Come on. What are we, th- man? I don't know what this podcast is. Shout out to them. Nineties with three guys and then this beautiful woman right here. But damn, what are we saying? Yeah. Out, right. So yeah. like it just. I was back to the square one. No way! And do you know why I was pissed off? Because do you know how dangerous a BBL is? Oh, break it! Yeah. I've heard it is the most dangerous surgery. Yeah, like, it is because I've the amount that. of arteries and veins and all that sort of stuff you have in your arm, right? At any point, they can nick an artery. If that, yeah. if blood, if if fat goes into your artery, you're dead. There, bum. Yes, <sighs> because yeah. it's going straight to your heart. Whoa! Of course, okay, like, oh, that's yeah, all I needed to know. Okay, um, that makes a lot of sense to me. Y'all are stupid. Okay, so <laughs> that's just clearly what that means to me. So you're telling me a dude that just got certified last weekend, you went ahead and let them put you under and then you went under the knife in a foreign country because that's usually where y'all are going. So I'm going to go in just a little bit on BBLs, just a little bit. I'm going to bring it back. I'm going to bring it full circle. I got y'all. Give me some time. Let me cook. So when y'all go over there and get these surgeries by these weekend doctors, you some of y'all end up, going way left i done seen some crazy bodies out here so some of y'all end up with these botched surgeries now what and this is what's confusing to me from the whole anthony edwards situation is that doesn't even this woman is not attractive this woman that i'm putting on the screen is not attractive this is her reality day to day she can't even wear real clothes she has to wear tights and flip-flops everywhere. I'm telling you, this person probably has to sit down, if I had to guess, maybe every three minutes. Every three to five minutes. They cannot stand. It's, it's just like the short king surgery. Once you break your legs, you can no longer run, jump, skip, hop, walk fast, nothing. You can't circle. You can't do anything athletic. It's the same thing with these BBLs because I know you've heard the story. When you go get these BBLs and they're in DR, they're in Cuba, Mexico, wherever they go to get these, Colombia, and they come back on the plane and you see them sitting face first into the seat and their ass is in the air because they can't sit down. It hurts too bad. Or they've taken up all the wheelchairs at the airport. You just see hundreds of people in wheelchairs. You're like, what's going on? Oh, y'all done came back from surgery. Y'all got the tubes under y'all butt. So BBLs are not cool. I'm going to stamp it now. I'm over BBLs. Ladies, I appreciate my natural, natural, nice, voluptuous women who eat right, go to the gym on occasion. I like a little stomach. Y'all can have, I don't mind my woman. Like, I don't know where this, I don't want to see my woman with a six pack. I don't care. That just lets me know you're starving yourself. I'm good. I like my woman with a little bit of body. It's cool. It's cool to eat, ladies. I'm not like, I don't want to take it there. I don't want to speak on y'all. I know that's in y'all very sensitive communities. So I'm going to leave it at that. But yo, a BBL is not it. If you have to die to look good, it's not worth it. I could take this so many ways because if you look at Kim Kardashian, how many surgeries has she had? Don't look at Chloe. Whew. Come on now, she's not even the same person. This is perpetuated to women in society. So can I really blame Anthony Edwards? I can't because it's programmed to like these bodies. These bodies are sex dolls. These bodies are fetishes, fantasies. You see them online and they look like this. This is perception. This is how she should look when you meet her. That's not the case. That's not the case. You're not meeting this person. If this is a 10 on screen, you're meeting a 0.5 in person. I'm telling you. Mindset, trash. Laying there, not doing anything anyway. What else? Not going to help you as a man. Not going to teach you about finances. Nothing. This is a net negative to society as a whole. A BBL is a net. There's nothing you can do from a productive standpoint by having a BBL. Nothing. 
Somebody please let me know. If you have a productive thing you can do in society by having a BBL, let me know. I want to know. I'm, I'm, help me out. I'm here to get a little bit of subtle feedback, right? Because when you sign up to insert the fat from your stomach, your thighs, wherever they get it from the back of your neck, your shoulders, your truck, wherever they're grabbing this fat and putting it directly into your cheeks. So now you look brazy. You look like you were created in a lab. You have a six pack stomach, a humongous ass, massive titties, huge lips. Like just keep inserting the things. Net negative. I'm not looking at her any type of way. This woman to me is cool, but that's a fantasy in my mind. All I'm saying to myself is I want to beat. I want to smash. That's my ego. As a man, if you're leading with ego now, you're going to lose. You just are. These women are here to finesse you in real time. They're trapping men by holding on to kids that they don't want. And that's a very touchy subject. Maybe we can get into that another day, but I just don't understand if you're not even dating a man. This is a complete stranger. You're not married. You're not in a relationship. You don't know how to keep their bathroom. Nothing. He randomly skied in you one night. Cool. We get, we're here now. Degeneracy 101. He nutted in you. You're now saying, hey, I have a child. He doesn't want it. That maybe should be a conversation for only them somehow it landed online so now we got to break it down but at the end of the day some of these men really don't want kids like y'all y'all know what y'all doing somebody has to take accountability in this situation because nine times out of ten the kid is gonna suffer anyway like yo i don't get society now we are in such a social decline we are in a social decline because multi-millionaires, men that are making hundreds of millions of dollars from playing a sport are getting trapped by randoms who have done and altered their body to look like sex toys. Someone help me out. What is a BBL? Why are we getting them, ladies? It's not a win anymore. Like, unless you're Bernice Burgos, who got these BBLs? Like, unless you're these women that are really making and securing that bag, these women online that I see, and maybe they not even making money. Maybe it's all perception. I don't know. BBLs to me are an L. Y'all do what y'all want to do with them things. Y'all got to chill. Drop a comment. Hit the like button. Subscribe. Don't let the algorithms box you in. This is the Furious Robinson Podcast. Tell a friend to tell a friend that we up.